appointed a commission of people who had some conservative credentials who would select the judicial nominees. McCain has not done that. So McCain has not even come as far to the conservative movement as Rudy Giuliani did. And when that time comes, if McCain were president, if there were an opening on the Supreme Court, if we're looking for the fifth vote to overturn Roe v. Wade, as many of us are, we need to have an assurance, we need to know that the person we support is actually going to pick a candidate, a nominee, who will actually overturn Roe v. Wade. And it's not just Roe v. Wade. There are other issues that go along with Roe v. Wade. It's the general... Obama is finally doing that. Uh, which, as I mentioned, deals with issues related to the environment and global warming. Uh, she is the vice... Uh, in the name of frightening a three-decade-long warming trend back into submission, which followed a three-decade-long cooling trend, which followed a several-decade-long warming trend. Apparently, that's how these things happen, but that's not important to superheroes. But they've done their job all too well, it appears, just by menacing us with massively increased energy taxes. We've already started what appears to be we are in the fourth year of a cooling. You've heard about this, haven't you? And promises to the country that I don't intend to keep. That's what worries us. But he's not talking about this anymore. McCain-Lieberman is now Lieberman-Warner because Mr. Warner is not running for president. So it's time for some clarification. On Sunday, he told Chris Wallace, I think the worst thing we're going to do is raise taxes. In fact, the distinction between me and Obama or Clinton will be that one of us will raise taxes and the other one won't. The problem is the Congressional Budget Office says his global warming scheme is an energy tax. And the problem is with trying to hide energy taxes is they get more expensive when you create a cap and trade scheme. So they're four times as expensive to seniors and the poor, four times as mean. Who wants to choose between heating and eating? Well, no politician wants to come out and directly tax your energy. Are you just gonna follow them? Are we going to sheepishly, as they say, parrot what they're saying? Well, the nominee says we're all gonna die from global warming. It's always hard to tell who's the, well, you get the Euro lemmings. Uh, the, uh, it's hard to tell who's Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy in this town, but maybe we can figure this out. Are we going to do this? <laughs> or, in the words of Marvin Gaye, if you believe in catastrophic man-made global warming, let's get it on. Let's talk about this issue. Let's stop hiding. What's going on, President Gaye? Okay, just the last week, let's talk to our nominee. In the last week, three headlines from the European Union. They're causing an energy crisis by imposing John McCain's global warming scheme on them. They're causing an economic crisis by imposing John McCain's global warming scheme on them. We have two new steel plants in the United States so far, one in Kentucky, one in Alabama, coming. 32,000 construction jobs, 3,200 permanent jobs, because you can't do those things in Europe anymore. What about that newest European export don't we like? Well. Third base, apparently. We've been told he's not going to raise your taxes, but no matter how long it takes, he's going to get the global warming scheme on you, which is an energy tax. No kidding. Bill Clinton understands. He just said two weeks ago we have to slow down our economy and cut back on our greenhouse gas emissions to save the planet. Go back to that thing about the cooling trend coming and maybe we want to import more European steel plants. Here's what's going on in Europe. John McCain still to this day goes to the floor of the Senate and in committee and insists the EU is cutting its CO2 emissions. That's not true. I don't know if he's misinformed. I'm sure he doesn't do his own research. But this is not my chart. This is the European Environment.